Hey, 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 and welcome in or welcome back to Sound Wisdom Tarot. I'm Shannon Rose Scott, and you are here for a general collective career reading. Yes, career reading. I'll be using Osho Zen Tarot, some Kipper, the Adventure Oracle deck, and an Archangel Oracle deck. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into it, Collective. Spirit guides, high divine intergalactical beings, and, oh, and angel guides, thank you. Please help me connect. Thank you to the energy of our Collective tuning in right now for this timeless reading regarding their career regarding their career so we already have cards jumping out let me start with those the overall energy of this reading is looking so good <laughs> like so good so you have going with the flow ace of cups you have abundance king of pentacles look at this look at this beautiful card And you've got two of cups in the Osho Zen Tarot. This is represented by the idea of friendliness. Mm. Now, I will say that this going with the flow did come out in reverse. So that's showing me that you're having a little bit of trouble right now, collective, going with the flow. That's just your current energies, okay? And the overall message of this reading is that there's a bit of resisting this going with the flow of things in life. Cups are about emotions. So you're feeling some sort of pull, some sort of emotional pull towards a direction in your career that you're resisting. But when you can learn this lesson of trusting that this urge within, this emotional urge within regarding your career is divinely sent. Aces are always like a divinely inspired message. And when you allow yourself to go with the flow, look what's coming in. King of abundance and friendship. So this is the energy of having like everything, everything you need. This is abundance, yes, of money and finances, Yes, yes, please. This is a career and finance reading. So this is showing you that you've got this hugely abundant, financially abundant opportunity that's right at your vault door. Abundance of money, but also abundance of being like in the right place at the right time. So in order to receive like gifts, connections, right? Abundance, like this money thing can come in through gifts. Here, the king of abundance is, is in a beautiful environment, home, receiving the things you need when you need them. And the king of abundance is balanced between moon and sun. So that's the masculine and feminine. It's like mastering your ability to go get what you need, but also attract. Because it's a co-partnership, this whole attraction and go-getting. Uh, I know there's a lot out there about like the law of attraction and how you should just be able to, you know, kind of sit back and visualize what you need and attract it. But it's actually a, a, a partnership. <laughs> you have to also co-create with the divine and follow the flow of ideas that come through in order to receive this abundance. Yes, there's some sort of partnership. The Two of Cups is a cup of, of partnering up with like the most ideal partnership. And because this is a career reading, this is telling me that, yeah, you've got some opportunity here to partner up in a way where you'll both be independent and stable on your own, yet merge 
yet co-create together, create this beautiful colors together. This is looking really good. The only thing getting in your way, Collective, is this going with the flow. So let's take this a little deeper. Let's take this a little deeper. Let's do a Celtic cross spread. One, thank you, Spirit. One card already came out. Wow, oh my goodness, Collective. You got the queen of abundance coming out here as well. This is double confirmation. You are meant to be super wealthy and meant to master this abundance mindset. Wow. Okay, so what's getting in the way, please, Spirit? What's getting in the way? Okay, now they're not jumping, so I shall pull. Let's do this. Here we go. What's getting in the way, please? Ah, yeah. Breaking through the breakdown. What came in the recent past? The tower. Mm -hmm. What is hidden? Mm. You're meant to be a rebel here. This is the emperor card. You're meant to be a rebel. What are they working on? Ah, yeah, finding that Ten of Cups. Ah, harmony between mind, heart, soul. Next likely steps. Healing a broken heart. Here we have Three of Swords, but in reverse. How does our collective feel about this? Ah. <laughs> It's a past life connection, a past life process. Wow. What are they attracting from the outside? Mm. Seven of cups in reverse. Okay. Hopes and fears. Nine of pentacles. Waiting for that ripe time and the likely outcome. Hmm. Seven of Wands, a little bit of stress coming through. Okay. All right. But don't worry, it's still looking good. It's looking really good. And we'll clarify some of these issues. All right. So as I mentioned, you have the Queen of Pentacles coming through, mirroring this King of Pentacles energy. So the issue is how to step in to your abundant power, this ability to flower and flourish, this ability to be your own source of financial independence and finally being able to thrive versus just survive your life. But the thing that's been getting in your way has been this breakthrough card, being able to break through the breakdowns instead of allowing the breakdowns to hold you back and keep you trapped. Because you've gone through a tower moment, a big tower moment, the Thunderbolt card. You might have gone through many tower moments, but in your recent past, which could be like earlier this morning, last week, last month, last year, you've had some pretty big shakeups where your whole life has, has completely shifted. To me, this represents in a career reading that you've like either lost your job or gave up a job to pursue something different based on perhaps this urge, this pull. And maybe if you were resisting the pull, maybe the divine stepped in and sent this lightning bolt energy to tear down what wasn't working in your life. Here we have an image of a, can you see in the background here, this person meditating and observing the tower that's happening within. 
and each of their chakras are actually lit up on fire. It's like the phoenix rising. So the things that were getting in your way spiritually, emotionally, mentally in your career have been burning up in order to allow that phoenix to rise, in order to allow the breakthrough. But this breakthrough is getting in your way because you're resisting the flow. What parts of your life right now are you resisting? Let's clarify. Why is the breakthrough card here? What, are, what is our collective resisting? What are they resisting breaking through exactly? Please give us thank you. That card wanted to come up. Ah, your creativity. The Empress, wow. Here we have the Emperor and the Empress. Collective, you are going through some major, major shifts here. The fact that you keep getting these cards that are paired together, the King and Queen of Pentacles, and now the Emperor and the Empress. You're resisting your own creativity. You have everything it takes to become this King and Queen of Abundance. You are the epitome of all four queens. That's what the Empress is. She is the queen of emotions, water, the queen of her intellect, thoughts, air. Um, so queen of cups, queen of swords, uh, also communication, queen of swords. You are the queen of fire, the queen of wands the ability to be the entrepreneur and like go after your passion. And yes, you're the queen of coins of abundance. So the, the only thing you've been resisting breaking through is like honoring your own creative urges. When you start following your own creativity, yes, you're going to bring in other people who support you and all of this abundance. Following your creativity can be done in small steps, right? What is the next thing that excites you, that makes you feel creative, that makes you want to play? Mm, this breaking through is also a sign to make, with paired with creativity, is a sign to take creative solutions to your problems. So instead of doing your job the way you used to do it, it's like, how can you be creative? How can you find another way to do it? Whether it's the same job or a brand new one, how can you be different this time? Take a different route. Every day. Can you give yourself permission to do something creative, whether that's writing, drawing, cooking creatively, taking a different route to work is being creative, right? And, it, and, and be creative just for the sake of it, not necessarily to achieve something, although that will be part of it, but for your day-to-day -day task of trying to embrace your creativity to help you break through this breakdown to help you rebuild your life that's come crashing down around you. You wanna, you wanna sometimes just play and be creative for the sake of it, not to, not to uh, accomplish anything. For example, um, I, I really love making music, but sometimes I can let it become a chore where it's no longer playing music for the sake of playing music. It's like, oh, I have to be good at it. I have to practice and get it really good. It's like, no, sometimes it's important to just create for the sake of creating. For no other purpose, not to make any final outcome. And the more we do this, the more we will find creative ways to live our life. And that's what you're being called to do. Because what you don't know is you're a rebel. You're supposed to do things differently. You're supposed to do things differently. See how this rebel is breaking the chains of society, of conditioning? And here we have the phoenix rising. I even talked about that in your tower card. 
we've got the he's got the eagle with him and this torch being a new light bringer of very new ways of thinking like the leading edge of thought this rebel as the emperor is in full mastery of his life because he does things differently because he's broken through the chains of society and the more you can practice your creativity, the more you'll embrace your rebel side because it takes a rebel to be creative in a world that's trying to put you in a box. But for your career, you are meant to embrace your rebel nature and do it differently. To do things that maybe others wouldn't approve of. You don't need their approval, you need your own. Stop resisting your rebel urges. Embrace them because that's what's going to bring you to your abundance and connection with the right people. Yes, when you're a rebel, you when you honor your rebel nature, it is going to tear away some people that are not meant to be in your life anymore. Coworkers, bosses, careers, even like the people you associate with in your in your like personal life carrying a plane, you might have to actually go, go off, go to go some new destination, or your job might involve more travel. It's okay to lose the people that you're not, you're meant to lose because that will also bring in the right people. that will co-create with you. You need to find your other rebels, not be stuck in a box. So as best you can, keep allowing this tower moment to happen that's already happened, but keep allowing the fallout from it and watch it like this meditator. Watch it as if it was happening to someone else. and keep going in your new direction. Because this is what's going to bring you harmony. You've been trying to find harmony between your thoughts and your heart, right? Between like what your mind has been telling you, oh, I should be doing this in my career, but my heart wants to do this. When you embrace your own rebel nature, this creative force you have, these urges, you are meant to follow these divinely inspired urges. You will merge heart and mind. They are not separate. Our heart is guidance for our mind. We also have this dolphin energy in the mind of play. The more you can play with your thoughts and realize your thoughts aren't fixed. Your thoughts aren't fixed. You can play with your thinking. If right now your thinking is very fixed, this is a sign for you that by playing with your thoughts, by trying to create and pull those thoughts apart and put them back together in different ways. You will bring harmony to your whole being. Your next steps are, we have isolation in reverse, so it's time to stop isolating yourself. You've perhaps been hurt a lot, hurt in your career, hurt by your coworkers, bosses, employees, however that resonates with you. I feel like many of you, because of all these cards of creativity, I feel like you are entrepreneurs in, in some way and you haven't been valued. You've had your heart broken a lot. This is the three of swords. This is the heartbreak card. You haven't been valued. People haven't understood your mission. Not everyone's meant to. As long as you understand it, that's what matters because it's divinely inspired. 
The divine has put this urge in you for a reason. But all the heartbreaks you've experienced in your career have had you feel like you had to isolate. You had to close yourself off from everyone. But now is the time to go back out. Sometimes we do have to isolate, that's okay. But flowers, did you know that flowers, we have this flowering card right at the heart of your reading. Flowers have this pulsation, they, they open and then they close. Sometimes they close at night and open up in the morning. But even as they're growing, the process of flowering is it like it opens a little and then it closes again a little bit and then it opens a little more and then it closes a little bit and then it opens a little more and closes and opens and closes and opens fully. So you, that little bit of isolation you've experienced was just a bit of a contraction that leads to the expansion. And it is, it's time to expand and allow yourself to connect with others because you are drawing in people that want to co-create with you and will actually help you this time. Yes, because you've got, this is a, this is a big past life, purposeful career you are embarking on, like that your soul has wanted you to do for lifetimes. Hear that again. This urge you've been resisting, but yet that you know you are born to do, Your soul has been resisting it for lifetimes. And this is the life. This is the time. This is your opportunity to go for it. What are you going to do with this precious chance? This precious opportunity collective? Can you embrace it? And if you're not, if you don't resonate with the whole past life thing, it's like this life, your whole past in this life has been guiding you towards this moment. And all these people represent all the different versions of you or all the different lives you've lived. And it also represents all your soul connections with others. Follow your urge as to who you feel good working with, who feels right, because your, your soul is trying to reconnect you with those that you're meant to reconnect with. If this was a love reading, this is like the soulmate card, but because this is a career reading, it's like your soul career mates. Now what you're attracting is from up from the outside is the seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, I like this. I'm glad it's in reverse. The seven of cups upright is like confusion and projecting in the Osho Zen tarot deck. Projection of like not really seeing the truth. But what you're attracting now, again, is this, right? You're attracting people that you can trust. People that aren't going to project onto you their own stuff, right? And you will no longer be projecting your past lives onto others. All this old pain and hurts, you, you can release that now and stop projecting it onto the future people you'll work with. If you had people that like really stabbed you in the back, and although I don't see that card here, but from previous readings, I think maybe you've, you've been healing from that. Right? And, and it's not here. It's not showing up here, that Ten of Swords. So that's good. That means you no longer have to bring that cycle with you forward. You will no longer be projecting that onto other people. 
the ways things didn't work out in the past, in your career, in your connections, that's not going to come forward anymore. That's over with. Right? That's why that tower moment happened to take all those, those un, unworthy people out of your life. The people that didn't deserve to be there. So you get to release the confusion and projections. You are now attracting people that don't do that. That are instead going to support you. And in the hope and fear card, we have the card of ripeness. Of being at the right place uh, at the right time. <laughs> we just got the, a horn honking. I'm not sure if you heard that, but that's like confirmation. That the time is right. The time is right. Now, the time is ripe for you to go with the flow, for you to honor your rebel nature, your creative spirit, and to break through that breakdown. And this is also your fear, meaning like part of you is like, is this the right time? Is this the right time? Because I feel like you've been working towards this for so long, right? It's taken a long time to grow, but now it's you're ready. And even when you don't feel ready, right? Because we never, ever feel totally ready. It's the time is now. You got to leap and the net will appear. Let your fruit fall. You're ripe, you're juicy, you're ready. Now, why is the stress card? Why is this stress card in the outcome? Based on everything else, I'm feeling like this is a sign actually that you're ready to finally release stress. But let's clarify. Why? Thank you. Wow. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Yay. Yay. Okay. So I asked, why is the stress card here? And these three cards jumped out. Playfulness. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for you to release the stress of career and instead embrace play. Did I not talk about that before? This is confirming you need to embrace your creative spirit, your rebel spirit, right? That doesn't want to just work for the sake of working. That doesn't want to just survive in your work. You want to thrive through play and you have the right to do so. There's a lot of people that want to keep you small, right? That, that don't want you to be the rebel, that don't want you to enjoy your life. They want to keep you in this place of stress. Don't let the monkey control you. Right? You're meant to play. Now we have receptivity in reverse. This is very similar to this go with the flow card that was also in reverse. You have ace of cups in reverse and queen of cups in reverse. But it's when you start embracing your playful spirit, you will turn this card back upright. This is asking you to be super receptive, to play, to play. Otherwise, you will feel stressed and burdened by others' expectations. That's what all these candles here represent, right? Bur the candles burning at both ends, right? And juggling all these candles. Like, this is other people's expectations. This monkeys, right? <laughs> play, receptive, and look at this. You have the card of conditioning, asking you to be the rebel, stop being a sheep because you're a lion, okay? You've been a lion trying to fit in with all the sheep. Stop trying to fit in. Embrace and be receptive to your own urges, your creativity. This is a beautiful reading. I've got so many goosebumps. To close this out, what are final messages from Spirit, please? We'll take one from each of these three other decks I had intended to use. So final messages for this collective tuning in, learning to play, embrace their amazing rebel their emperor, their empress, their creativity and re rebellion, spiritual rebellion. 
this king and queen of abundance. What do we have here? Ooh, I like it. Wow, okay, yeah. So we've got occupation, <laughs> career reading, spend time doing those finer details and working on your occupation, on your desired occupation. And this, the, this is like paying attention to the finer details, but not in this stressful way, more in this, like, what are the deep, not, not in this way, in this way, what are the details you want to pay attention to? Child, this is like a childhood dream, I think. Embrace it. Embrace the youthfulness of play. Where's that play card? Right? Let your inner child play in this career. That's going to bring you the right people as well. People want to work with people that are fun to be with, right? And then you've got privileged lady and mature woman. Privileged lady, you are meant to be this king and queen of abundance. That's that. The, the, these were the first cards that came out, right? You were meant to be privileged. And then with this mature woman, it's. I feel like there could be a mature woman helping you, supporting you with friendliness on this path. Or it could be you already are a mature woman and that's why this is coming in now. Or for some of you, a reminder, this is a collective reading, right? So there's lots of different people tuning in that are in the same energy, but will have slightly different circumstances, right? So for some of you, this is going to happen when you're a bit more mature, like as you mature a bit. So it's going to take a little bit of work to follow that childhood dream, but it is gonna make you privileged when you're a bit older. So keep going, keep going, keep going with all your flow, my friends. Keep going with it. Here we go, let's pull one card each from each of these Oracle decks. I love it, the way forward is open and we have wide open, yes! Be this receptive queen going with the flow and throwing her arms wide open to this path. You don't have to know where the path's going, just be wide open to it. And the way forward is open. Look at this, you got a map. And your urges are your map. That's what you got to follow, your own urges, your own urges. You're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. Spirit will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. Take a screenshot of this. Okay, because you've got the map. It's your intuition. It's your own rebellion, creative urges. Follow them path is open to you. What an honor it was to read for you. Go ahead and smash that like button, hit the notification button and subscribe so you can keep receiving messages like this. And if you've already done those things, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your support means so much to me. Please comment below. I love hearing from my collective as to what resonates for you specifically. And I do always answer in the comments on YouTube. So make sure you're, you're commenting here and letting us know what, like what your journey has been and is, because that also helps inspire others in our community, right? And it helps me tap into your specific energy. Yes, you for future readings. So I so honor you and your path and appreciate you being here. Thank you, Spirit, for helping me connect. Thank you to you for receiving the message. And until next time, big love and keep tuning into your inner path.